On today's show, in a victory for automakers, the Trump administration is reviving a review of the CAFE standards. Magna and Ford work on carbon fiber subframes, and we take a look at the changes needed to put a retractable roof on the Miata. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show for enthusiasts of the automotive industry. The Trump administration just took the first steps to possibly roll back 2025 fuel economy standards. A White House official confirmed that the president will revive a review of the regulations for 2022 to 2025 and will spend the next year determining if they are feasible. Trump is making the announcement today at a speech just outside of Detroit. This is a big victory for automakers who argue that the rules will add cost to vehicles and that they're too aggressive because of low gas prices. But environmentalists also got some good news, as the administration does not plan to challenge California's ability to set its own standards and mandates. And for more about this issue, check out John's editorial from the March 10th episode of AutoLine Daily to see what his advice is. When it comes to work vehicles, there is no one-size-fits-all. And while Ford already collaborates with a number of qualified aftermarket upfitters, it's expanding that program. The company is now working with three new developers that offer electrified and hydraulic hybrid powertrains for Ford trucks and vans. The best part is, all the vehicles retain their original powertrain warranty. A few of these examples are making their debut at the Work Truck Show in Indianapolis this week. We've already shown you the customized crate that comes with the new Dodge Demon, but we're learning a little bit more about its contents. All of the tools we mentioned previously are limited edition examples from Snap-on that are emblazoned with the Demon logo. A fender cover to keep the paint pretty and a tool bag to lug everything around also come with the same mark. While we know there will be a block off plate for the passenger side mirror and skinny drag racing wheels, we're still waiting on the remaining contents of the direct connection performance parts and the Demon track pack system. Also waiting on the price for the Demon crate, but we hear it's going to be ridiculously cheap. And we'll be back with more right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Automakers and suppliers face tough regulations to improve fuel efficiency and lower emissions. Making cars lighter can pay big dividends and every gram counts. And here's a great example we ran across. Ford and supplier company Magna are collaborating on carbon fiber subframes. The two created a prototype that's 34% lighter compared to one made from stamped steel. It also passed all performance requirements based on CAD analysis. Magna is now producing the subframe for Ford that it can test in vehicles. While Nissan is shaking up its design ranks, its global design leader, Shiro Nakamura, is retiring. Alfonso Albaisa, who's currently the head of design at Infinity, is taking his place. Replacing Albaisa as the head of Infinity Design is Kareem Habib, who previously was the head of design for the BMW brand. Ford recently revealed it's testing how to make large-scale parts with a 3D printer. And to learn more about these efforts, we've invited Ellen Lee, the technical leader of Ford's additive manufacturing research, to the studio for this week's AutoLine After Hours. So if you've got any questions about Ford's 3D printing operations, send them to viewer mail at autoline.tv. And you can tune into the show live tomorrow afternoon at Autoline.tv. Coming up next, a look at some of the engineering differences between the soft top and hard top versions of the Mazda MX-5 Miata. For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. This is the human element at work. Dow. While we've seen an MX-5 Miata with a retractable hardtop before, Mazda gave us a bit of a surprise with the MX-5 RF, which stands for Retractable Fastback. With the push of a button, 
the roof can open or close in just 13 seconds. And here's Mazda's Dave Coleman explaining the changes engineers made to that version. We did a lot of uh, uh, sort of subtle tuning tricks with the RF versus the, the soft top um, to try to keep the, the, the sort of spirit of the light, simple lightweight roadster alive in, in a more of a coupe form. Um, the top adds roughly 100 pounds to the car, which in most cars wouldn't seem like that much weight, but in a car as light as a Miata, we really had to re rebalance things to, to get, the, get the car to shrug off that weight. Um, we tuned the steering differently, so it's got a little bit more weight to it, a little bit more build-up feedback as you're in, going in through a corner, and that kind of slows down your inputs a little bit so that the body doesn't roll quite as, as much. And we did a, a, a tweak to the rear suspension to make it so that when you're right on the limit and the tail starts to slide, it slides really slowly and smoothly. Um, we did that with uh, the bump stop, actually. Um, the, the, the bump stop is sort of like a rubber spring that uh, when you hit at the end of the suspension travel, it starts getting onto that spring. And we made it uh, ramp up a little bit more smoothly, and that's what really controls the way the car uh, gets up on its, uh, on its tail when it's in a corner. Um, the top mechanism itself uh, is a really uh, remarkable piece of engineering. Um, it's mechanically very similar to the, the NC, the third generation retractable hardtop, even though it looks completely different. Uh, the, the way that it folds is actually very similar. You remember that car had a, 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 a panel behind the top that would lift up and then let the top fold in and it would come back in and cover the top. Well, that cover is now uh, the, the rear flying buttress here. So if I uh, open this up and show you how it works, you re might recognize that the motion is very similar. Um, that is what used to be the cover. And if you look inside, it's one mechanism that takes those three panels and folds them down in there. So we were able to take sort of some well-proven uh, top technology, make it a little bit more compact to, to fit into the narrower body of, of the ND, uh, and, and make a really remarkable top that transforms, I think, the look of this car and the, the driving experience driving it on a, as a daily driver as I do, the, the extra quietness that you get on the freeway when the top is up is, is really, uh, really pays off as a daily driving car. Uh, and then the, the handling that we built into it uh, with those suspension tweaks really pays off as a driver's car. So it's really kind of a best all around uh, solution, I think. Now that you've heard how they engineered the roof, Head on over to our YouTube channel to get the story on the design challenges the Mazda team faced adding the retractable roof to the existing Miata. That's where we've posted an exclusive design walkaround of the 2017 MX-5 RF. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and please join us again tomorrow.